When the schedule makers in the American Athletic Conference put Navy at Houston to end the regular season, they had no idea that that game was going to decide the Western Division and possibly the New Year's Day bowl bid that goes to the best team out of the group of five conference champions. But that's the way it's come down. And my bold prediction here is that Navy is going to go on the road and get a win, move into the conference championship game, and then eventually get in to the Peach Bowl. And I think Ken Niamatololo's team cements their place as the best Navy team of this generation. Well, Iowa's 11-0, a lot of conversation about where they should be ranked because they haven't played that strong of a schedule. But I think the Hawkeyes are in a tough spot this weekend, and my bold prediction is that the conversation ends with a loss at Nebraska. I think Iowa, all the pressure's on them. They're lobbying about ranking. They're focusing on the wrong things. And I'm just not sure how good they are to begin with. I think Iowa goes to Lincoln, and the conversation about their playoff chances is over. Well, Stanford is a favorite at home this weekend over Notre Dame, but I've got the Fighting Irish pulling the upset. Now, I'm not sure you can call it that, but technically, Notre Dame is an underdog in this spot going cross country to face a very good Stanford team. And I still think Notre Dame, the maturity and poise of Deshaun Kaiser, their quarterback, all year long has been spectacular, especially for a freshman. And I think Brian Kelly, after sort of a so-so performance last week against Boston College, is going to have this team fired up, ready to go, and make their case to get into the playoff. Well, Baylor TCU was supposed to be the big game of the year, maybe for all of college football. It hasn't quite worked out that way. TCU has not had a very lucky season with injuries. But I think they rise up here and steal a game against Baylor at home that will end any chance Baylor has of getting into the college football playoff. I just think this is the game that TCU and Gary Patterson, their coach, wants to win more than any other. And as bleak as it may seem for TCU, it's still unclear whether Trevon Boykin is going to play a quarterback. I don't think that's going to matter. I think this is going to be an inspired effort. And Baylor's got their own injury issues. I think TCU gets it done and ends any conversation about Baylor winning the Big 12.